Okay, it's uh, it's raining a bit, so I'm going to try to make this fast and see if it'll work. This is TH Cormier for Solar Cities. Please don't try this at home. It is dangerous. I'm wearing safety goggles. Um, working with sodium hydroxide, which is um, lye, drain cleaner, these crystals in this Denkmit Walheimiger granulat bottle, and water and aluminum tabs from a uh, from Coke cans. And the idea is to generate hydrogen and then ignite it. I'm using brass wool, not steel wool, but brass wool as the flashback arrester, which is stuck into my pipe there. And basically, I'm taking a pill bottle, folic acid, 400 milligram container, and I've taken the top of that and I've screwed into it a tank adapter that I made. And so what I do is I take a couple of these tabs, and I'm going to take three or four of them, and I drop them into the bottle. I pour into this some water, not too much, just enough to cover them, and then I take these sodium hydroxide crystals and I pour them in, and I do that until it begins to bubble, and we begin to observe in here that it is causing an exothermic reaction, and the aluminum is bubbling. I'll throw another tab in of those, and a little bit more sodium hydroxide to increase the concentration. When I see a vigorous bubble begin, I begin to feel heat here, and just a little bit more because I put too much water. It's bubbling. I don't know if you can see that or hear it. And then I seal this up like so. It's beginning to feel very warm. And then connect this hose to this other hose. And I can, now that it's getting hot, I can open the valve. so hot into the cold water to try to cool it off a bit. I can now hear the gas coming through here as it bubbles out. Hydrogen. And, um, so there's the bottle and it is bubbling into here. Listen very carefully, you can hear it. And you start to see the water level rise here as it collects in the pink bucket, which is inverted down there because this valve is closed. So the gas is flowing in here. And <clears throat> you can hear it going bloop, 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 bloop. So we are getting hydrogen that is being evolved from here. This is very hot even in the water, but at least we're not getting the deformation we got in our first trial. And that hydrogen is going in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we've collected a bit of hydrogen, and we'll know that by looking at the level of the water. The level of the water is being displaced. The water is being displaced from this bucket in here and pushing this water level up. And then we'll know that we've collected enough hydrogen to flare off. So we wait. The, um, the sodium hydroxide is uh, hazardous. That's why I'm wearing goggles. Um, I've been working with it a lot, and yeah, you get it on your fingers, and it gives you that soapy 
feeling as it begins to interact with the lipids in your skin and actually making soap. That's how soap is made. It's fats with sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, lye. So you feel that soapiness. I haven't uh, experienced any, any burns, um, so I'm, I'm going to be careful that. I think you should wear gloves if you're going to try this at home and wear long pants, long sleeves. We don't want anything to happen to you. I've been working with this long enough that uh, I have a sense for how much I can get on me. It's not that bad. And I have uh, lots of water right nearby, and I have uh, vinegar to neutralize it if I need to. So, you see the water level has indeed risen here and continues to rise. And this is still rather hot in my hydrogen generator. And what I'm going to do now, assuming that I've got some decent hydrogen, is I'm going to flare it. To do that, I'm going to open this valve. this valve and light. Let's see what I get. Open the valve all the way up and just sort of pops. Okay. That may be because of what we have here again. There we go. And so you see we definitely have a big hydrogen flame and I do have the brass there to prevent the flashback. Now uh, apparently it's not strong enough to get through to my metal top here which is somewhat unfortunate. We'll have to work on that. Probably need a higher pressure uh, or a different kind of flashback arrestor. What I've done is I've I've put a uh, piece of the brass wool, a piece of this brass wool, into the tube, and that acts as my flashback arrestor. Do not use steel wool. Steel wool will ignite. It has to be brass wool, which is less flammable, as you can see. But steel wool would definitely ignite. And I guess that used up the little amount of gas that I had collected. Try one more. Oh, there it goes. A little, a little more. So we have.